So when you're multiplying fractions, you can use a method called cross simplification uh, to make it easier to multiply. In this quick video, I'm going to show you why that works, and we're going to do that with the example that I have right up here. The rule of cross simplification says that basically I can simplify 8 not only with 15, as I can simplify any fraction, but also with my 16, which of course is going to work out better because uh, 8 is just half of 16. Or 9, I can simplify with my 15 when I'm multiplying. And this is why it works. According to the rules of fraction multiplication, this multiplication just means that we multiply 8 times 9 for our numerator and 15 times 16 for our denominator. Now, my commutative property of multiplication tells me that I can reverse the order in which I multiply things. I can do that both on the top and the bottom, so I can rewrite uh, my expression like this. So you'll see here, I basically just reversed, using the commutative property of multiplication, my denominator. So if I use my uh, definition of multiplication of fractions in reverse, I can separate these back out into fractions where I have 8 over 16 as one of the fractions and 9 over 15 as the other of the fractions. These fractions simplify nicely. 8 goes into itself once and into 16 twice. 3 goes into 9 three times and into 5, I'm sorry, into 15 five times. Now we can see that our numerator is 1 times 3, or 3, and our denominator is going to be 2 times 5, which is equal to 10. Our answer then is 3 tenths. And that kind of shows you the steps of why cross simplification works. Just to, cir uh, to circle back and finish things off, I'm going to start with my original problem, and I'm going to do that using the cross simplification technique. So I've rewritten my initial uh, fraction multiplication, and again, I can cross simplify between the 8 and the 16. 8 goes into itself once, 16 twice. 3 goes into 9 three times, and into 15 five times. We'll recognize the exact same numbers, and of course, when we multiply it, it does in fact equal 3 tenths, as we expected. So this is just a quick review of how cross simplification works, and earlier in the in the video, I showed you why it works. We can simplify anything on the top with anything on the bottom in the case in which we're multiplying fractions. Thank you very much.